Welcome back to the channel. Today's day 154 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with our daily checklist and a list of the items we're gonna need until the end of this challenge. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. All right, let's take our first break. Uh, all right, starting with the shrugs today again. Loaded with 50 pounds. Um, felt all right, not too heavy. I mean, it's kind of, at some point, it gets kind of hard to keep them in the hand, but uh, not for the actual exercise. Uh, other than that, it was pretty good. <clears throat> Starting with this exercise just to warm up the shoulders and then go from there. The next exercise is going to be the uh, reverse flies. And then we'll move on from there. And today is one of those days that the exercise is a little bit longer than usual. <laughs> Simply because I do not want to take any of the exercises off the routine. Even the front raises. I don't know if I want to take those off of the exercise routine. Uh, but so far, uh, the entire roster is working out pretty good as it is. been working a lot lately crazy schedules crazy hours <sighs> can't wait for my days off <laughs> I was hoping to go into my rest days tonight but it's not going to happen I'm already first out whole bunch of jobs for tonight luckily the snow is melting <laughs> Snow and the ice is all melting, uh, but I can't really get too excited yet because we might get some more snow. Who knows? Whew. I'm gonna have my oh, that's the transmitter. All right, time is still ticking. Just a few more seconds to go. We go. We'll go into our second set and continue with the routine of today shoulder day I think tomorrow is leg day yeah tomorrow has to be leg day I haven't worked out my legs in a long time feels like now last time I worked worked out my legs I felt them for a little while <laughs> uh. all right just a few more seconds All right, time is up. Here we go, ready or not.
time for our second break. Well, I'm glad I started with this as a warm up. <laughs> uh, I used to put it at the end of the exercise. <sighs> at the end of the day. But I figure, well, it's the easiest exercise. <laughs> Let me put it in first to start warming up the shoulder. <sighs> that thing is working out just fine. I should, should have start, technically I should have started with the reverse fly since it is my favorite exercise of all the shoulder exercises. However, this will help me avoid any more shoulder injuries since I'm already warming it up. Something to keep in mind. And also an update on my diet ish which is not really a diet <laughs> on my calorie intake um, feels like the 100 calories I added uh, are keeping me just below the threshold to man maintain weight so I'm like right there like if I eat a little too many calories the weight goes up a little bit and if I eat a little bit less, the weight goes down. But at the same time, that's kind of fluctuation on the human, human body's weight. So I'll keep it like that for a little while until we are a few days out, well, a couple weeks out to the end of the challenge. And then I'm gonna drop the calories. And after I drop the calories, should be losing body fat like crazy. And also I might be losing some muscle at the same time. So still, I'm still look, taking a look at the scale and see if the weight's slowly still coming down or not. But feels like it's kind of borderline where I am now. Might be, I hope I'm losing like eight, one pound per week. If so, that's kind of the goal. Somewhere between half a pound and a full pound. And hopefully that pound is body fat, not muscle. <laughs> Which at that particular pace should be body fat, not muscle at all. Anyway. Time is up. Let's go with the third set of the shrugs and move on. Here we go. Well, let's take our third break. Shoulders already tight. Woo. All right. <laughs> All right, so next exercise, still with dumbbells. It's gonna be the reverse fly, so I have to shed all the weight off of this dumbbells. Put the 25ers away and bring the 10s and the 5ers. Uh, you will notice that the dumbbells will be loaded in a very awkward way. <laughs> Actually, I might not even... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be loading it with, with 10s just yet. 
It's gonna be just five, we're telling. So yeah, reverse flies, uh, 10 pounds on each side of the dumbbell. And yeah, that should do it. Then we'll do the reverse flies. I was considering going back to old school since I don't have the gut hanging out here anymore. The way I used to do it, which was sitting on the bench, bend over, and then do the reverse flies, uh, kind of bringing the dumbbells underneath my legs, and then going back up. Uh, I'm considering that since I don't have uh, a big belly anymore that is not restricting me from being flexible. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, reverse flies, and then we'll shed some weight off. Right, uh, maybe I'll just leave the weight on, and since it's already loaded with the right weight to do the shoulder press, leave the weight there, and then after the shoulder after the shoulder press, then do the lateral and front raises. Uh, now probably wondering why am I all rambling going around with the routine it's shoulder day it doesn't matter the order of the exercises doesn't really matter as long as you hit all your body parts of that day at least that's my approach to the exercises so whatever works for you it's what works for you the exercises are there if you want to follow along the way I'm doing it fine if you want to do it your own way it's fine as well but shoulder day, shoulder exercises, the order doesn't really matter that much. All right, time is up. Here we go with the fourth set of these shrugs exercises. Here we go. All right, let's take our fourth break. All right, that felt pretty good. Let's uh, load these dumbbells with the proper amount of weight. flies and then and then we'll bring the bench this I'll have uh, maybe not <laughs> uh, but it will be nice to have nice uh, dumbbells either a whole set or one of them adjustable dumbbells it will be nice but I don't think we'll make it there 
Uh, if, if I'm gonna make the investment, I'll probably just get a gym membership. Whew. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, so far the weight I have it's working. It's working out. I know I probably need some more weights some more plates, but It is what it is It is what it is All right, just a few more seconds to go and Then we'll move on to the next exercise All right, time is up and here we go again with uh, the first set of the reverse flies. Here we go. Let's take a break. Whew. Oh. Even though the dumbbells are loaded with a very light weight, felt the exercise. Dumbbells are a little bit heavy. <laughs> Just when you think you're getting stronger. <laughs> more sets of this exercise and then we'll move on to the next one Whew. Whew. all right definitely feel it definitely feel it in the shoulders Wow, <laughs> that definitely pulled a little bit of energy and strength off of me. All right, let's breathe. And get ready for the next set. Actually, after after today's exercise, I'm gonna weigh myself and see where I am with, with this. Oh gosh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Let's see where I am with this uh, body weight tracking. I should be weighing myself after I wake up. So let's say I go to bed regardless what time I go to bed, <laughs> because I usually don't go to bed at, at the same time every time because of my job, but go to bed, then wake up is then when I should be weighing myself before I even have my first glass of water. And that is kind of the most consistent type of way to weigh, of weighing yourself, is doing it at the same time after a little bit of a fasting. But yeah, morning time. Or after you wake up, like in my case. <laughs> All right, just a few more seconds to go. And we'll get right back to it. The 
second set of this exercise. Reverse flies. All right, time is up. All right, here we go. Take a break. Uh, that one felt good too. However, I cut it a little bit too short. Just a little bit too short. Should have pushed myself a little bit harder on that set. At least two more reps at least. But for some reason, I'm kind of winded now. All right. Heart rate is a little bit up. Still below 100. Still doing good, doing good. I'm gonna have to get back to coffee. <laughs> I'm running out of energy and all these exercises. I'm gonna wait at least one more week. One more week until I get back to caffeine. Then, at some point I have to quit coffee again, so I get ready for my shredding phase, in which I'm gonna need quite a few stimulants, <laughs> aka a lot of coffee. That's a pre-workout. Uh, I used to, I don't know if you, if I mentioned it before, but I used to have take uh, pre-workout. It was too much for me. I was too jibbery, itchy, all kinds of things, except for focused and actual energy to do. Like I didn't feel good with so much, so much stuff in me. <laughs> I remember those days that were not fun. Uh, just like every young and dumb guy out there, I just walked it off. Just kept on going, kept on going. I got that's how it's supposed to be. No, I'd rather be clear. Rather stay clear, focused, being awake on my own than any stimulant. Uh, I barely take coffee, and coffee does just fine don't need anything else other than coffee at least as of right now i don't see the need for an actual pre-workout all right time is up here we go again with the third set of the reverse flies here we go
All right, let's take one more break for this exercise. Ah. 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 Hamstrings. I feel, I feel a, little, a little bit, I don't know why. Even though it's tomorrow when I'll be working out my legs. I guess walking so much at work on the snow with clown shoes, it's making my legs a little sore. Uh, especially my hammies. I don't know why my hammies. My left one, I forgot which one was the one bugging me a few weeks ago. I forgot. I think it was my left one. Not 100% sure. But yeah, walking in the snow, long distances with clown shoes on. I guess it's a, a good workout. <laughs> Whew. Ah. And if you're wondering if I'm a clown <laughs> in real life, no, I'm not a clown. <laughs> Even though I do wear clown shoes, I <laughs> work. Ah. Actually, that's what I what I call the snow boots that they gave us at work. I call them clown shoes because they slip over your boots. Usually are a size or two size bigger than your actual feet, so they can actually slide over your over your boots. So they look like clown shoes. They're bigger and hold wobbly and whatnot. Not very well fitted. Anyway, one more set of the reverse flies. I'll bring the bench, leave the dumbbells loaded with what it is. I think 20, loaded with 20 pounds is the number for the shoulder press, which by the way, I do not want to increase that weight yet. Not yet. Yes, 20 pounders. We've been frozen at 20 pounds for the shoulder press for quite some time. However, I think the exercise is just ad adequate to my fitness level. Like it's not too light. I don't know if it's because I really can't. My muscles in that particular position are not that strong, but that's kind of the perfect weight right there. <laughs> Maybe if I could add five more pounds to it, it would be a different story. But as you all know, I can't. Anyway, time is up. And here we go with the last set of the reverse flies. Before I do that, let's check this thing. Oh, yeah, good timing. Here we go. Yeah. Just a few seconds. <laughs> here we go. Another break. <sighs> Definitely feeling it. All right, let's bring the bench. Uh, let's see. I put this bench right here, right there. And I'm just gonna bring you guys down just a little bit. Oh, that was fast. 
All right, should be in frame there. Oh. All right, let's bring the water. And bring the timer with me. All right, so what's for dinner today? I'm not sure. <laughs> Sounds like I'll be, I'll be making dinner tonight. Liz, that's what it looks like. Oof. Time is still ticking, and I'm going to finish today's exercise, and then I guess I'll have to go drive through the snow and ice to get some stuff to make dinner with. It's going to be a good one. I'm still not 100% sure what I'm going to make, but have an idea, have a decent idea. <laughs> All right, time's still ticking. Just a few more seconds, actually a couple more seconds, as you can tell right there. All right. I think this is the right way. <laughs> Feels kind of light. But it's a different story as soon as I start pressing it. Anyway, time is up. Here we go. All right, let's take a break. And, yep, just got a message from work. Gotta work tonight. <laughs> let's see. Looks, yep. Okay. What's going on? But anyway. <laughs> yep. All right. Time is ticking. Let me have my phone here. First set of shoulder press. Went well. I could have done a few more reps. However, it's the very first uh, shoulder press exercise of today so to get a little bit easy and as I was doing it I should have done the lateral and front races before this exercise uh, my uh, delts weren't entirely ready for this exercise so after this first set, maybe the second one is still on the warm-up phase. And then the last two will definitely push it to failure. 
or as close to feeling as I possibly can without hurting myself. And then we'll finish the day with the lateral races. Still questionable on the front races. It's a debate I have in my head. Uh, so many informations out there about front races being necessary or not. I personally think I need them. At the same time, I know I do engage my front delts when doing uh, dumbbell press exercises, including the incline dumbbell press, which is, as of right now, one of my favorite exercises besides the flies. So, that being said, I'll probably just just keep it at least for a while, keep the front races for a while. I do not see my front delts to be developed <laughs> any more than my middle ones or the ones on the side. Anyway, time is up. And here we go with the second set of the dumbbell press. Or, sorry shoulder press here we go Another break. Ah. Yes, I definitely felt that one. That was a lot better than the first one. Ah. Two more sets. I'll shed some weight off these dumbbells. Oh. And then we'll go with the lateral and front races. All right, we have just a few more days. Well, a few more days now, over a hundred days still. <laughs> but we are definitely closer to the goal, to the end of this challenge. It's been a fun run for sure. Definitely a fun run. <sighs> Woo. All right, shoulders definitely felt a little stiff, soreness coming in slowly. It's a good day. My, most of my body is sore <laughs> from all the exercises I've been doing. I need to Take a little bit of a break one of these days from working out so hard. Not saying that I work harder than anybody else, <laughs> but I need to give my body a little bit of a break from all these heavy to heavy to failure exercises. Go a little bit light with a lot more reps for at least one week, I think. We'll see if that will shock my body and put it into overdrive mode and then we'll come back to our failures all right under a minute to go on our break hundred fifty four forty six hundred and forty six days to go Took a while to get to this point. <laughs> Took a while, still have a little while to go. 
Uh, most people want to get a body transformation in 30 days or two weeks. You know, crazy expectations. This is more than just a body transformation. A lot more. After 90 days, this is no longer a challenge, it's more a routine. So you need to keep telling yourself to make it better. That's what the challenge really is. Anyway, time is up. Here we go. time takes I'm now wondering how many sets of this <laughs> dumbbell press I did because I forgot I honestly forgot how many was that the third or was that the fourth I'm not sure I think it was the third but you might, might as well could also be the fourth so, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna do one more set, and then I'm gonna shed the weights off and get ready for the front and lateral races. What do you guys think? That's what I thought. That's what we're doing. I know, can't keep track, can't count to four, and I'm expected to <laughs> make it to 300. <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna work, but we are getting there, we're getting there. Ouch. All right. Doesn't look like I'll be taking a nap before work tonight. Where am I working tonight? Oh, looks like same place I worked last night. It's not bad, it's actually the closest I have to my house. Yep. Ooh, I get to choose. Look at that. Actually, I get to choose which which job I want to take. I'll still take the same I did last night. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Besides that I get to walk like 10 miles on the snow. <laughs> okay, maybe not 10 miles, it's more like five. Which is still a shit ton of walking in the snow all right for some reason I decided to stop the timer on my phone but that one is still ticking right there you can see it <laughs> uh, for some reason I'm tending to like start the exercise like too soon like before that timer times out but if I'm ready I'm ready I guess You should do the exact same thing, just do it at your own time. If you need to pause the video, you can pause it for a couple seconds until you're ready. Just don't pause it and go somewhere else because then you'll forget about 
the exercise and by the time you come back it's gonna be like 10 minutes later anyway time is up here we go with the last set of this shoulder press exercise Take a break. I feel so tired I could probably attempt to do the lateral and front races right here. <laughs> But we're gonna do the proper thing and get up and get on moving. Can't be too lazy. I mean, I could. Shouldn't be so lazy. You're probably wondering what the heck is he looking for? I'm looking for my bottle, water bottle. Here we go. Found it. Water bottle. Need some water. All right, let's get this bench out of the way. And bring you guys up. All right. this take weight off <laughs> the amount of weight I use for my lateral and front races it's ridiculously low However, that's what I can lift. <laughs> and I'm not gonna put any more weight on, even though I could, technically could lift as much weight as I just had on it. I'd rather not, because I want to do the exercise as clean as I possibly can. <sighs> Since, you know, my ego is out there building a snowman as we speak now somehow sometimes my ego snakes in here and lift some weight but I try to keep him out there I don't need him in here all right baby dumbbells ready timer is almost up talking about timer let's see all right we still have like nine minutes for this exercise we might have to reset the cam one more time All right, here we go.
Let's take a break. All right, using a little bit of momentum there. But overall, those races were fairly clean. Oh, I don't know when I worked out my biceps, but kind of felt my <laughs> forearms in some of those reps. Squeezing the crap out of <laughs> one of the dumbbells. Oh. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Look, I will keep this little bit of body fat here for a little bit longer. <laughs> I kind of feel my muscles underneath the body fat, but I can also feel the body fat being there. Hopefully I'm losing somewhere between a half pound and a full pound of body fat per week where I am. So I was losing somewhere between one and a half and two pounds per week. And I'm pretty sure that was slowing down my muscle gains. I know my math might not be as good as it should be on that aspect. Increase my calories by 100 to hopefully slow down the body weight production. Not to eliminate it, just to slow it down a little bit. So I lose the least amount of muscle as I possibly could. <laughs> or gain more muscle as I'm in a little bit of a deficit. Since we have still over 100 days to go to gain muscle mass and lose body fat. At least that's the game plan. <sighs> Learning a lot as I go. Learning a lot. All right. Time is ticking. Just a few more seconds. I'm getting my little gloves or Used to, I used to call them back in the day when I was young. Guantillas. All right. Here we go. Second set of lateral and front races. take another break and as you can tell I'm tired exhausted running out of gas my shoulders are sore already I can feel every single rep Every single rep I'm doing, it's burning. Just a little more than last time. <sighs> Luckily, it's gonna be <laughs> 22 degrees tonight. <laughs> Fahrenheit. <sighs> ah. That soreness, I'm not gonna feel it too much. 
while I'm walking around <laughs> in the cold. Woof. Yep. Oh. All right, two more sets of this exercise, which by the way, let's make sure we have time for that. Yep. Two more sets of this exercise. And we're gonna, we're gonna call it a day. And you probably noticed my old shoes. I do have them back. <laughs> oh. We have, oh, I have a lot of snow out there. It snowed, what was it, yesterday or this morning? I don't know, all my days are blend in together. Snowed and I didn't feel like shoving any snow before I came in here. Or I didn't feel like shoving any snow to come here. So I put these shoes on to come across. And I forgot to take them off and put the other ones on. Or forgot to, well yeah, forgot to take these ones off and put the other ones on. So, it is what it is. The other shoes are way more comfortable than this one. So this one feels like I'm standing on a bar of soap. My feet are kind of sliding off <laughs> of the sole. <laughs> uh, are not as firm as the other ones. They were comfortable like for the first couple of weeks. Then I bit the crap out of them. So, now they're just shoes. <laughs> All right, time is almost up. We're gonna go with our third set of this races. All right. Here we go. Last break of the day. Oh, this shoulder is kind of giving up on me. It's really tired. Next week, I'll get back to coffee. Maybe I'll get a little bit of energy boost <laughs> on this, all these exercises. But the fact of the matter is that I don't rest enough. Not the rest in between exercises or sets, but I don't sleep very much. Nor very well. Well, I do sleep well. The four and a half hours I get to sleep, I do sleep them. <laughs> but I do need to sleep at least three more hours than what I currently do. At least three more hours. <sighs> but like most people, like most of you out there, we don't have the luxury of being able to sleep that much for whatever reason or excuse we may have. We all have compromises and things to do on a daily basis, 
and we can't really dedicate that much time to sleep so ideal and recommended to sleep at least eight hours well at least seven and a half or seven uh, somewhere between seven and eight and a half hours somewhere in there that will be ideal for most people that way you'll have one a healthier life <laughs> two more energy throughout the day and three better results at the gym Somebody's calling me. I don't know who, but they better. They better, you know, apply their own extended cut warranty <laughs> to their own cars. Oh, for a second I thought they left me a voicemail. I was like, wow, that's weird. Usually, this extended warranty people don't leave messages. <laughs> All right, time is up. I forgot to tie my thing in here. I don't know if I mentioned, but my left shoulder is really sore right now. It's tight, it's burning and hurts a little bit. Hopefully we'll go through this exercise without hurting myself. Nothing that cold air from outside can't fit. Anyway, here we go, last set. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.